Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into a very interesting concept of collaborative filtering, which is used in recommendation systems. So let's have an overview of collaborative filtering. So collaborative filtering recommends based on the similar user's preferences. That means here, instead of using the content, it is going to check the similar users preferences on interacting with any particular item if two users have similar choices then if user one purchases something then that purchased item will be recommended to the user two which has the similar choices as of the user one this is called as collaborative filtering here no content or domain knowledge is required because we don't require any keywords or important features for recommending users now for doing this particular task, it requires large amount of user item interaction data. Whenever the data is large, then only it is going to give the correct or best results. Hence it is widely used in big data. But there is a drawback that it is computationally very much expensive for larger data sets. Though it gives the correct result, but it is computationally expensive, it requires huge computational resources for carrying out this collaborative filtering task. So now I hope that you might have got an overview of what collaborative filtering is. Now we will move on to a simple example that will illustrate what collaborative filtering actually means. Let's say we have two users, user1 and user2. Let's consider a scenario that user1 and user2 both watches the same video that is relational algebra operation using MapReduce and the operation is intersection so both the users watches the same video now let's say again both the users watches one more same video which is relational algebra operation using map reduce and this time the operation is natural join here you can see that as per the historical data both the users have so far seen the same videos now let's say user 1 is watching a video on son algorithm now if you look at the history both the users till now have watched the same videos they both have the similar choices and because of the similar choices the recommendation engine of the collaborative filtering will come to know that both the users have similar choices and if any of the user watches a new video the same video will have to be recommended to the next user and therefore you can see that to the user 2 also the same son algorithm video is recommended this is how collaborative filtering works i hope this example must have cleared all your doubts so this is collaborative filtering based recommendation system if you guys get any doubts then you can straight away put it in the comment section so now we will see the utility matrix concept that this particular collaborative filtering uses for recommending the products based on similar users choices now here you can see that we have a table and the table contains the users p q and r so these are the users whose information we are going to store in this particular table and in the column part we have three videos on youtube first video is on map reduce second video is on dgm algorithm and third video is on page rank algorithm the values 1 means that the video is watched by that particular user and 0 means the video is not watched by that particular user. Now you can see that user P has watched all the 3 videos and user R has watched the first 2 videos. You can see clearly that user R and P both have watched 2 videos which are the same that is MapReduce and DGIM. So we can clearly recommend the page rank video to the user R because it was watched by the P user. Now once the user R watches the page rank algorithm video then the zero over that particular cell will then change to one if user R watches that particular video after getting recommendation. Similarly the user Q will also get a recommendation of the video map reduce because it was watched by the similar user that is P. I hope the concept of utility matrix is clear to you all. This utility matrix is basically used in collaborative filtering. Now let's have a look at the advantages of collaborative filtering. The first advantage is that here 
personalized recommendations are made because of the recommendations made on the similar users choices one speciality is that it works well with the sparse data now as you know here we do not require any content based knowledge for recommending the items to the users hence no domain knowledge is required over here also no description knowledge is required if you remember this was a drawback of the content based recommendation system now because it uses similar user choices hence it is used for user behavior analysis which gives a brief understanding about the user's behavior so i hope the advantages of collaborative filtering is clear to you all now let's move on to the disadvantages of collaborative filtering the first disadvantage of collaborative filtering is the cold start problem now let's say a user is very much new to the website and the recommendation engine doesn't know the choice of this particular new user hence it won't be able to find out the similar users of this particular new user and therefore it is difficult for recommendation engine to recommend items for the new user that enters into any new website which is using the collaborative filtering approach so i hope this particular drawback is clear to you all now the next drawback of the collaborative filtering is the popularity bias that means here as you know that only similar users choices are considered for recommendation so if a particular video is very much viral then almost all of the users will have a recommendation on that viral video so therefore only popular videos will be having an advantage to get recommended to all the new users now as i said collaborative filtering requires huge computational resources for computing the recommendation hence there are scalability issues now as you know this approach is biased when it comes to popular items and therefore whenever any new item enters into the platform it will usually be ignored and one more disadvantage is the privacy concerns so i hope the entire collaborative filtering concept is clear to you all if you guys get any doubts then you can post it in the comment section i'll be happy to solve it post your reviews and suggestions on this particular video and also comment what you want in future share this video with your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on instagram thanks a lot for watching and have a good day ahead